Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be making some log tenons. Real simple, basic hand tools. You don't need too much to do this project. There's going to be some background noise today. I live on a busy road here, so cars might be whizzing by, but we'll still get a video out of this. Okay, so a quick little rundown. These are, uh, I'm going to be making the tenons out of. These are balsam firs I harvested in the woods. So we're going to make our tenons from. I got 10 of those to peel. We got a four center bit, two inch. That's the size tenons I want to make. That's a board we're going to be making our template on to be checking our tenons as we make them. And just a drill, tape measure. I'm going to be using the strap to strap the log to this tractor bucket here. Just so I could peel them a little bit easier. And then you just need a good, nice, sharp draw knife. I got this one here from Bar Tools. I got it sharpened like a razor. You could just about shave the hair off your arm with it if you want. You don't have to be that sharp. You could pick up uh, good antique draw knives from an antique store. For real good quality steel. So the first step is we're going to be taking this two inch forstner bit and drilling a hole in this for our template. Got a nice clean hole here. So that's going to be our template there. Okay, so I cut that back. We got our little uh, template here for the tenons. So whatever tenons you want to make on your logs, that's the size hole you drill in your piece of wood for your template. Real simple. Okay guys, while well, I got my log fastened down, came up with something simple. This is ratchet strap. I got a blanket to protect the log. But I mean, you could put this log pole on a vise. If you got a pickup truck, wrap it around a tailgate. Just get creative. All you're looking for is just to anchor this pole down and hold it good while you're peeling it. Pretty simple. Okay guys, we got the template that we made. All we're going to do is just put it on the log and try to center it out as best as we can. Not too far up or down or left or right. Just try to center it in that log and then take your pencil and just trace on that pole. There we go. That's how much we got to peel off. We got to peel down to this line here. So I want about a three and a half inch tenon, so I'm just going to take my tape and just measure it. Come in there to three and a half. Start peeling your log. Okay guys, I had to put a bigger strap on here on this log. Just because that smaller strap didn't have enough strength and it kept, it kept sliding out. So this bigger strap should do it here. Yeah, so you can see it didn't take long to get to that pencil line. So now I got to loosen the strap and twist this log around, and start peeling and get to the pencil line on this side. Let's take your time. This is a good technique if you're somewhere where there's no power tools because Do this all by hand. Yeah, you can see with a good sharp draw knife, it don't take long. Take some material off of that. Okay, guys, well, I'm down to the line here, so it didn't take long. We got a pretty grain in that balsam fur. So now with my template, I just put it on there. Yep, and she starts to go on there. See that? Okay, so here's the back side of that log. I got my template on there. So now what I do is just take a pencil, go around this whole template, trace that out. Okay, then pop off the template. Now you can see my mark here. So now with the draw knife, I don't have to peel no more right here. 
What I do is I peel in back of this line going up the log. That's where I want to peel, this area. No more here, just back here. And I'm making these three and a half, like I said, so I'll make another three and a half mark, three and a half inch mark back here. And then I'll know kind of as I go up where to stop. Okay, so we start peeling again. Okay, keep checking with your template. Okay, so I just kept going around a little bit at a time turning this, taking some more material off. I'll put my template on again. You can see now how much farther it goes on there. Take my pencil. And just trace around this thing again. There we go. Already got about an inch and a half there. Yeah, so just keep repeating this process there. Peeling, put your template on, keep moving your way up. I mean, you can see in the beginning here where I started. It's my first mark, second mark, third mark, fourth mark. Just keep peeling up to that pencil line. Putting the template on, checking it. And just keep going till you get to the length that you want. Yeah, you can peel these pretty consistent once you get the hang of it. You start doing some of them. They start coming out real nice. It looks like I'll keep getting to it. I got like 10 of these things to do. They're fun. I enjoy it. Well, guys, it looks like we're at our three and a half inch mark. Didn't take too long to really get there. Got a nice tight fit on it. I'm going to show you guys how tight you could get this tenon. Okay, here's a little close up. Just how snug you could get that. And you could get a pretty nice fit just with hand tools with a little bit of time. Yeah, it's pretty snug. I mean, I could play around with it, take off little high points. But actually, once I even pound this tenon deeper into a log, she'll tighten right up. You won't even see no gaps. If you do have any questions on this, just pop in the comments and tell me what you need to know, and I'll help you out as best as I can. So this here is my three and a half inch mark. What I usually do is I'll Gradually peel this back just to make it look nice. A nice slant to it. Just nice transition. And then like with these logs, I'll probably just hit these with a palm sander just to clean them up a little. I'll show you how they look when I'm all done with them. I mean, you could take and just peel these two with the draw knife for a rustic look. I'm still deciding. Maybe I'll do that too. I don't know yet. But I'm gonna get to work and finish off these other nine. Peeling. Keep peeling them off, Sean. Well, there you go, guys. There's 10 homemade log tenons. These four here on the right, I didn't peel these yet. But these guys I did, I was gonna sand them, but put the draw knife out of right, I just went ahead and peeled them. It saved me a lot of sanding. Yeah, you can see once you take the draw knife to them, it puts those nice little grooves in them. Gives it a nice rustic touch. You can see those there still need to be done. So quite a bit of shavings. Still be a little bit more after I do those other four.
Yeah, I'll take that stuff. It'll be a good fire starter for the fire pit. With the PLEs, I'm just taking the draw knife. Just taking some nice light strokes here. I won't go too deep. Just want to take that outer layer off. This gives it a real nice look, huh? Yeah, this balsam fir peels real nice. Pretty wood. Look at that once you peel it. It's got a nice rustic look. Call it El Rustico. Not a bad fit for just eyeballing it. Finished product, guys. 12 hand peeled tenons with the draw knife. Okay, guys, tenons all done. A little bit of work into them. I ended up doing 12 instead of 10. It's because I needed two that were a little bit fatter, a little bit thicker, more mass to them, so I ended up making bigger tenons on them. But yeah, the they're really fun to do once you get doing them. It gets to be pretty easy. This is a great technique for people going off grid or re remote locations, out in the bush or something where you don't have access to power tools. Super great way to do it. It's an old school draw knife, a little bit of arm strength, and you're good to go. One thing I wanted to mention too, I did these out of seasoned wood. If you do them out of green wood, just remember your tenon is going to shrink in size in case you're using it for like a stool or log bed or some project like that where it's interior. If you do it out of green, just remember it's going to shrink. These were bone dry, so there will be no shrinkage at all on these. If you got any more uh, questions about this, just pop in the comments. Let me know and I'll try to answer your questions as best as I can. Get out there and give it a try. It's pretty fun. Such a nice day here in northern Wisconsin now. I think I just might pop on the river today after I got done peeling these. Take a little break, huh? All right, we'll catch you guys on the next video. Have a good day.